You know I'm legendary. Cause I'm legendary. But guys, today we're going to be doing um not really a showcase on Tsukishima, but it is inspired by Tsukishima. Right? As you guys know, Tsukishima, Mayuri, and Kujo, I guess this is their first return. Um, like their first ever rerun banner, right? The second or the first time they've ever come out um again since their initial release, right? So their first ever rerun, right? But um I wanted to try um the team of Tsukushima, Jugram, and the new Spirit Tide Forever with you, Yamamoto, in Brave Battle to see how well this team is because, um, I mean, I've already tried this team out. To be fair, I can't really judge it too much. Um, right now, um, I have better results with other teams, but again, I can't judge it too much because my Jugram is not even 10-10-10. He's 10-10-0, so we can't really, I can't really say how well this team is but we're gonna see because again my jugram is only one out of five not even level 10 right not even level 10 um and my jugram is one out of five not even level five here my Yamamoto is five out of five with max defense so if we do win it's practically because of yamamoto but we do have a golden chappy for yamamoto not yamamoto tsukishima and jugram like right we have a you know these builds for him we have last ditch damage taken damage taken um my yeah, we still don't have another like damage taken character i am waiting for next and kaimon so i can get that red zone getsu up and then we'll have one and then for yamamoto we got damage taken nah damage taken and then damage taken so um we're gonna see how well this team does if it's invincible invincible um the only thing i feel like the only reason why i feel like this team is not the best team um unless you have a a 15 15 15 Yamamoto is because Yamamoto doesn't have Pierce barrier right so I feel like if you put like I've from what I've seen and from my own experience when I put a character that has Pierce battle Pierce battle uh, uh start barrier around or against Yamamoto he can't kill them instantly he has to hit them 10 times um where then my Yamamoto just swipes the whole team and it's just my team versus their Yama and then you know who the winners are going to be so let's see let's fight I don't want to fight a team too high so like this the team like this I don't know if we beat it but I mean heck I think okay I think his uh okay so your five 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 the year max transcendence okay with, with the, okay yeah so we're not gonna really beat this this team I don't think so um not yeah I don't think we're gonna beat this team so we're not even gonna fight that team um right let's see we need them times too because again we're in like rank 42 of third C, so we're trying to keep our rank here all right let's fight a team like that well, okay let's fight a mirror match first so again what you usually do you want to put Yamamoto up against Jugram and then I guess Tsukushima against Yamamoto um because I don't know, like, uh, what are you supposed to do against a mirror match team? I know you put Yamamoto against Jugram, but then who do you put against Yamamoto? I guess Tsukishima, because he doesn't have killer over Tsukishima. And then Jugram against Tsukishima. But doesn't Tsukishima have killer over Jugram? I think so. I don't remember what killer Tsukishima has. But uh, we'll, we'll see next. Okay, so he has attribute, which gives him more focus. Uh, let's see who wins here. Okay, so his Jugram is dead. Can we move on to Tsukishima? Oh, I forgot Tsukushima has a boost too, actually. I totally forgot about that. So, if we do win, it is because of Mayama. Right? Well, okay. Tsukushima got his ultimate, so. What does he do? He grows a tree and then he stabs you. Alright. Some people told me that they preferred um, Jugram and Tsukushima in PvE over, like, other better PvE NAD characters, so. I don't know. I mean, I maybe Tsukushima, but I don't prefer Jugram myself. I don't know. Um, let's see against a team like this. So normally I would like I wouldn't move my characters. I mean, I only move. I mean, you guys let me know because I sometimes I hear that you shouldn't move your characters, and sometimes I hear you should move your characters when you're fighting. I think it's smarter to move your characters because it's just a guaranteed W. Um, but like. I guess if you move characters when they're fighting your team, I mean, they're going to move their characters too, I assume. I don't know. So, yeah, their Yama or their Jugo got wiped. I don't know. Is Tsukushima, like, because when he puts up the, that Vortex, does Yamamoto get, like, paralyzed? Not paralyzed, but, like, 
You know, usually when enemies are in a vortex, they can't really move. When Yamamoto is in that vortex of Tsukishima, does he move? Like, is he still able to fight? Let's see. Uh, let's fight a team like this. This team is a bit more difficult, but it doesn't have a Yama, so I think we'll be chilling on this right here, but we could see. Um, we could check here. I don't know. Like, again, this team, it doesn't have a Yama, but that doesn't mean we can, we're still going to win, right? I do have a Max Red Sending to Yamamoto, but, you know, sometimes um, they don't go for, like, the Soul Bomb and stuff like that. I don't know. Okay, for Max Red. Okay. I think we killed their Jugram pretty easily. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Like, Yamamoto against the Jugram is just a joke, honestly. Then we kill him, Jugram comes back, he's dead, and yeah, we won, of course. Well, yeah, we didn't even take damage there. We didn't even take, oh. You see, I'm telling you, it's an ultimate that makes a huge difference in this game, right? We just lost because of the ultimate. An ultimate in Brave Battle makes a huge difference. You guys seen there? Um, if you didn't see, go back a couple seconds and notice before he had his ultimate, or before he used his ultimate, notice how much HP we had and then notice how it was just all vanished, right? We all got last ditch, but then again, that's not enough to do stuff. So, you know, I'll take that. Oh, like I said, you, again, we don't have, um, you see, if I brought someone like Jushiro, right? And he had the shield up, if he ulted, it wasn't doing nothing right it was not because again plus five barrier means the jewish rose tanking and then plus three for everyone else means that um they're only going to get hit once right because most of the times ultimates are hitting like four times right so jugram would have survived that jugram jewish hero would have survived that and everyone else would have got hit like once and they wouldn't have killed them for sure um from what i've seen so far so we can fight the same team um Right, it's Tsukishima against Tsukishima, it's fine. Um, but yeah, again, it really just comes down to an ultimate and who gets the ultimate. Like, that was a max transcendence Kisuke. So, if someone like their Jugram used that ultimate, then we weren't dying, but that was a max transcendence Kisuke. So, of course, we were gonna get you know a bit like jumped when it comes to that. Like, as you see, we murked their Kisuke and their Jugram. Tsukishima's holding his own against the other Tsukishima, he actually wasn't taking any damage there. But, again, he does have invincibility. So, I mean, I think this team is better against teams that don't have Yamamoto. Because then you're just not getting touched, right? You, you're not getting... So, against a team like this, we probably beat it. Because, again, we're not getting touched, right? I'm going to put... Because I don't think he has... Let me just check real quick. I don't think he has Pierce Barrier. He doesn't. Yeah, so that's another thing. Tsukishima doesn't have Pierce Barrier right um it's only jugram who has pierce barrier built in um out of the three right so these two you're gonna have to give them pierce barrier yourself if you want to let me see if he has like a 15. okay let's see so full stamina damage boots to the last stage I, I feel like full stamina is a waste for someone like jugram now like i, I or not jugram no jugram and tsukishima right a lot of people uh probably had to re-roll that because now that Yamamoto's in the picture, that full stamina is useless. If I just use a, a, like a strong attack, a full screen strong attack, they all lose their HP, like, and then boom. So, okay, that Jugram is tanking, but we're not doing no, like, he's not doing no. Okay, so now he lost his full stamina damage. But can my Yamamoto, oh, hold on. Okay, wait. Okay, okay, we won. Yeah, okay, so Tsukishima and his boots, like, again, Tsukishima does have a boost as well, which is helping the team a lot, um, right? I do recommend bringing boost characters in Brave Battle, but Tsukishima is a boost character. So, like, if you have one, I obviously bring one. Um, if you don't have Tsukishima, I actually, like, realistically, if you don't have Tsukishima, I would prefer, out of, like, Masaki, Tokinata, and Jushiro, me personally, I would prefer Jushiro. You guys let me know who you would prefer out of the three if you didn't have Tsukishima, but you wanted a boost unit. Um, that gives a shield, I don't know. Um, I feel like Jushu would be the best because of that multi-barrier, right? Again, plus three for everyone else and plus five is a lot better than plus three for one person and plus one. Because plus one doesn't do nothing when you have like Frenzy or Flurry, right? It doesn't do jack. Okay, but let's fight a team like this. This is like double our power and more. So, okay, this chat is max transcendence. Okay, but... Uh, and then he had the triple defense. Yeah, yeah. We're, I don't know. 
I think, okay, I, I'm i positive we lose this one. Like, I I know my limits. Usually, I don't really fight teams like this Um, when I'm, like, just doing Brave Battle for fun. But because it's a video, I want to see how well this team will do against a team that doesn't have, like, more than one character with invincibility, right? So, let's see. Um, okay, here's Tsukushima has a lot of HP. And he's tanky? Uh, yeah, he's a bit tanky. Um, not so tanky, but okay, so we got rid of him. Okay, I think I'm pretty sure we lost this. Okay, wait, who got that? Us or them? Ah, uh, yeah, we lost. We lost. At the end, like, my Yamamoto is not enough. Um, yeah, he does have max uh, defense, but my Yamamoto won't be enough against three characters that are practically 5 5, right? Um, I wish I could see their, like, whole team. I just looked at their, yeah, chat, but I'm pretty sure all of them are, like, 5-5, five, five, or all of them are 4-5. That's why their power is so high, right? Because, let me see. Let me go to Team 9. If I put accessories on that, I'll, I'll do it later, and I'll check. But I want to see what my highest power would be in Brave Battle, which would be Jushiro, Ichibe, and uh, Yamamoto, because they're 4 out of 5, and then Yamamoto is 5 out of 5. So, I want to see. But, you know, this team, again, it's not bad, honestly. Um, right, it's one, probably one of the better teams for Brave Battle, but me personally, like I said before, I would prefer, um, Jushiro, Jugram, and, I mean, yeah, and Yamamoto, because again, Jugram has Pierce Barrier, and then Drain doesn't work for Tsukishima for fighting other Yamas, which is the majority of the time we are, and then obviously we have the plus five barrier and Pierce Battle from Jugram and stuff like that, so... I don't know, you guys let me know your Brave Battle teams down below. Let me know what you guys think the best team is. And let me know if you guys think, um, you know, Tsukushima, Jugram, and Yamamoto, all three of them are needed on a team. Maybe if you have them 5-5, five, five, all of them, for sure, most likely. But if you don't have them all 5-5, five, five, are they all needed on the team? Uh, you guys let me know down below. Anyways, I'm Zioxis, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out later. Peace.